Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Chef. I'm taking a look at the reviews here. And even though it's still 50 reviews, um, like noticing excellent is no longer there and we're getting very good and average is kind of bumping up. And I was kind of like questioning that, like why is that happening? I, I don't understand because the review system hasn't been working. At least I didn't think it was. I think what happens is once you get over a certain popularity and you start getting a lot of people in, it stops bugging you with the fact that you got new reviews because it would probably get annoying having go blip, 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 blip all the time, right? Um, and, but instead, it just shows you like maybe the last 50 reviews, right? So every time we have a cheapskate, they love the place, but they hate the price, which is what we want. Um, but we get down to lower class families. They don't mind the price as much. At least some of them don't. You know, you're not going to get really great reviews every time. So three star, four star, all that stuff, right? If we were to reduce the prices a little bit, we might start getting higher review scores. But when I get down to seeing food enthusiasts, which is what I really care about, is these people who are going to spend a lot more money, right? Cheapskates, I don't care. Um, we're going to get a lot of average reviews because there's still a lot of cheapskates, right? Food enthusiasts, good, okay? I'm a review at Tron 4000. Behold my review power. Place was good. Review of Tron 400 is still in development. Join the early access to help us improve it. <laughs> but really good prices, right? Um, thumbs up here from this food enthusiast. Didn't mind the price. Thought the food was pretty good too, right? Um, and these are the people I really want to impress, right? So I'm feeling like maybe the prices are just a tad too high, right? We are pretty profitable. We're starting a brand new day right now. And we're starting with $542 in the bank. Okay, which is a stark contrast from before. So because we are quite profitable, I, I kind of want the reviews to be a little bit better. Maybe we can dumb down the prices just a little bit to, to sort of get the people to be a little bit happier, right? I'm also, I don't necessarily have a five-star menu everywhere, right? But we do have a lot of these working on right now, right? Well-structured menu, several different preparations, uh, which is great. Vegan-friendly, vegetarian-friendly, alcohol offerings, and carb offerings. But we still don't have a dessert variety. And I kind of want to get some cookies, if I can, right? Maybe we can get some cookies, because that would be more diverse food offerings. Okay, so I'm thinking we can get some cookies. Now, what kinds of things? Ooh, white chocolate. Ooh, now, okay, I am, again, if, if there's one thing I'm ignorant on, right, it's the ingredients that are associated with the varieties of foods that I eat because I don't do a whole lot of the food shopping, right? And because are we have you know generally pretty healthy uh we don't have a whole lot of like fast like really fatty foods necessarily my wife is pretty good about healthy food um i just sort of like trust the people i live with to feed me things that are not poisonous <laughs> so um i don't what i'm saying is i i know cookies aren't necessarily something i would should binge on all the time but if i was gonna really just hone down and be like what goes in my cookies specifically i don't know the individual ingredients on this but i'm gonna go with um uh char's Charcoal. You know what? Not John. I was gonna say charcoal lot, but that doesn't really work. Char's uh, white macadamia nut. Oh, and I really don't know how to spell macadamia nut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher it. Uh, mac e, maca. You know what? White maca. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, damia nut. I don't know. Demia nut, Demia nut, macadamia. God, I'm gonna get, you know what? Butcher me here, okay? I'll spell it properly. All right, so ingredients in our white macadamia nut, okay? So I'm pretty sure we need to start with like maybe some flour and what does it say? Uh, fat tagged ingredients average 20 grams or more. Use flour to 80 grams or more, okay? So flour goes up to 80 grams. Okay, and then we need, uh, from there, it looks like we need a fat tagged ingredient. I was gonna use butter, so because we don't need vegan cookies. So I was gonna use butter. So let's have it be, it says 20 grams or more, probably do that. Now, what is going on with this though? Well, I guess it's not a good cookie because it's just flour and butter right now. <laughs> That's probably why. <laughs> All right, now I want white chocolate, so we'll drop that in there too. It gives a four rating, very nice, lovely. Probably wanna use a lot of this. And then look, it's giving me nothing. Wow, I don't think I've ever like I've never seen I've never seen that before. Like nothing? Absolutely nothing. Sugar. 
Nothing? Wait, what? A little bit of cocoa, I guess? It finally starts giving me something, but wow, that takes a, takes a lot before you start getting anything. Uh, white chocolate, I, I do want to pump that up. Butter is really heavy, I need to bring it down. And then the, the flour has to be 80. We'll do 80 there, but wow, interesting. Okay, so for the right mixture here, like I don't know what else to put with the cookie to be to be quite honest. All right, so the cookies, I actually think I need just like a little bit. I've, I've been like trying to toy around with this a little bit, right? And like it's a white macadamia nut, so I'd like to add nuts, but all I have are peanuts right now, right? So I think what I want to do is, is save these for now. And I'm gonna grab uh, in our ingredients panel, right? When we get more ingredient points, I think I might invest in either almonds or hazelnuts, maybe even walnuts, but a different kind of nut to, to add to the cookies, right? So uh, let's put a pin in that for now. And we also may look, I don't know what this will do for the flavor and stuff, but instead of using milk, maybe we'll use soy milk. Uh, I, I don't know. Just it's a it's a thing. It's 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 just an idea to try later. Um, and then uh, we're not gonna use any fruits in the cookies. Um, and then for dairy, is there anything I want here for the cookies? I don't think so. I think nothing there. Definitely nothing on this side. Definitely none of those. Um, possibly adding a little bit of maybe oats. It's not really like an oatmeal cookie, though. We're not really doing like oatmeal cookies. Maybe a little bit of coffee, even. I don't know. Uh, somebody mentioned also stock before. I don't have any of that. Like I never, I never unlocked it for the for the soups. I think is what you were talking about. Uh, I never unlocked it. So anyway, so let's continue with our brilliant day so far. <laughs> we're just off to a start trying to make cookies. And right away, we've got somebody. Now, these guys are blue collar, and I really don't necessarily care so much about these guys, but we'll see what they do. Your prices are outrageous. You're ripping people off. Popularity changes by 10. Really? Uh, bye. Like, they're just the wrong kind of person to come in here, I guess. But maybe what we really need is, like, a huge variety of things on the menu, right? So that we can cater to everyone. I, I think that's what we have to do, honestly, because... Like, everybody's checkmarked. We're going to get people everywhere. We probably need to have offerings on the menu that are for everyone, you know? Which is kind of, you know, not the easiest thing. Ooh, banana bread. Now, there's an idea. Why didn't I notice that before? Charles White Macadamia. We're not, we're not ready to use that yet. But we have one ingredient point, so maybe we grab... Uh, let's go with hazelnuts. Let's see what hazelnuts does inside the cookies. I wonder. They're really expensive. All right. Well, that did help it, and it did that thing again. So uh, new recipe. Come back out and go back into this ingredients panel. Add the hazelnuts there. Uh, so we can bring this down. I, we don't want a whole lot of nuts, but like we get, just adding it brings it up to 76 at least. The taste is already... See, the taste is 49. We just need to get that to, to 50 to get the maximum value. But this is also also really fatty right now. And maybe it's because of all the chocolate we're using. Maybe we're using too much chocolate. No, I cannot possibly be using too much chocolate. Uh, right until it gets to 76. And then we'll call it good there. There. So it's a little heavy. That's fine. Uh, we'll overwrite that design for now. And uh, maybe we'll try a different nut afterwards. But... See, Joseph, Joseph is getting close to quitting on us, okay? I need to put him on only door duty here, I think. Because he's damn near quitting. Like, I don't know what's going on with him. Everybody else is in a great mood except him. Just take a break, man. I don't know what to do about you, Josepha. You're not getting your points. You know, I need you to get your points. So that I can bump you up to level 3 on the energy and you can earn double the energy recovery. Uh, hang on, what's this? Decision available. What's this? Decision. Oh, down here. Local handyman. By getting in con 
tact with some local handymen, you will be able to further customize your place. They have access to better quality paints and wallpapers for your walls and better looking tiles for your floors. Really? They do, do they? Okay, what do you got for me? Hello, this looks cool. This looks really cool. I like this. Uh-huh, we're gonna leave it like this. I like that, that dark color there. And then for the kitchen floor, I'm thinking this mosaic. Ooh, now that looks cool too. Hmm? No, it's, it's too much red. I'm, I'm going with this one. Oh, wait, not that one, this one. Yes, I'm going with that one. Cool. Uh, what about the walls? Okay, we got some different walls for sure, but I don't know. This is this is a bit wild for me. That's just a little bit, a little bit wild. Now this is a little cool. This this is cool. I like the I like the tone that this sets. Right. This is a cool little. Oh, I like this. Hey, stone, big stone. Now what about? Is there a little stone? I see big. Is there a little stone wall? Stone wall, small. Okay. This is just a lot of jaggedy lines, which don't get me wrong, I'm into it. But I like—I think I like the stone look better than that. So I'm gonna go with the stone wall. And then, what color are we making this? Dark like this? Eh, it's a little too dark. Let's brighten it up. Brighten up the brighten up the room a little bit with this. Okay, cool. And then the outside of the building, actually inside, inside the kitchen, inside the kitchen, we can. Uh, you know, this kind of matches, but. I think uh no I don't want to I don't want it to be the same thing. I think we're gonna leave this alone. It's just a little lighter paint, that's fine. The outside though. What are we doing for the outside? Hmm. Interesting. I I don't like the idea of having brick here and then stone here. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense for me. Um, I don't remember what I just had. I had something else before this. Uh, we don't want the rough brick. I think we'll just, whatever it was. Oh, I think we'll just leave it here. It's fine. It's just aesthetic anyway. It has zero, it, it's all about how it looks, right? It has no bearing on the actual ratings of the place. All right, pause. Um, I may not be able to move this because it looks like they are already on their way to use these tables. Um, but let me see. All right, so I can move this. Uh, no, I cannot. I can move this here. So this is where this... Oh, you know what? It's this. T it's these tables. All right, hold on. So you're going to go like this. You're going to go like this. <laughs> you're going to go like... Uh, no, you're not. Apparently you aren't. Oh, so this is the table you guys are currently using. Great. Well, I'll move this one then. I oh, yeah, like that. Right, like this. And then we'll just have to wait to move this table because this table is being used. It, it won't let me move it. So somebody must have already reserved it. There must be somebody being seated to that table right now. Yep, they're right there. All right, who is it? Cheapskates? Who are they? Cheapskates. Cheapskates. God, how do I get them out of here? I don't I don't know if the prices are really that good, guys. You know? I, I might I might just have prices that are not great. You know? Low class tourists, lower class tourists. Cheapskates are gonna hate the prices always. And like I have to scroll down a bit. When you get to food enthusiasts, they're okay with it. Scroll all the way up. Uh, food enthusiasts are okay with it. Cheapskates hate it. Cheapskates hate it. White collar people actually didn't care, really. Okay, white collar people are all right with that, I guess. Cheapskates, cheapskates. Oh, well, I guess okay. So white collar people, I think the stigmata of it is that white collar people will earn more money than blue collar people, and therefore um, they will not care about his price as much. I think that's the. I think that's where it's going with that analysis. Or that's where I'm going with this analysis. These are not lined up. It's because they're different lengths. This is not a perfect square. It's a little bit... See how it's, it's it fits here? 
but it's wider in this direction, so they're not all going to match up. Deal with it. <laughs> You're just going to have to deal with it. All right. So, Josefa, are you recovered now? You seem like you're all right now. Like, you're the only one, aside from me, I suppose I have a lot to recover to. If I just go sleepy sleep, I don't even know if I can. You know, we can afford another chef. Not that we need it. Everyone is super high on morale right now. But I could always pay them a little bit more as well. Uh, let's take a look at points. Can anybody use any? Aya can use, it's two points. Let's get you on dessert quality. Up you go. And Cora, still only two points. Let's get you on main course. And then Lily's a waiter, one point there. Santiago, you only have one. You guys gotta get your scores up. Josefa. I, I want you to, I want to wait to the fitness level. I could actually start replacing these tables now too, you know? I haven't done that yet. It hasn't been high on my list, okay? But I really could. Like if I was going through it, I could say, hey, this table was 150, I could sell it. And we just get that money back, get that money back, get that money back. So we just do it in waves so that I can line them up properly. So this and this, and we just kind of go like so, like this and like this. So like we slowly replace the tables all around the restaurant so that they're like all the same color, right? Now, obviously if they're occupied, I can't do that, but we can grab the two, ti this two table, Two seaters, right? And just kind of get rid of those a little bit. Come back over to this. Go like this. There we go. Easy. We got check marks everywhere. So we can't prevent cheapskates from coming out from coming in. It's all about price. I was is about pricing them out, is what it was supposed to be about. Ingredients panel. Let's grab almonds and let's grab maybe not something for cookies necessarily or just better white chocolate. We could grab but better sugar. You know what? We're using sugar in a lot of things like our desserts and stuff. We'll grab better quality sugar. Then we can come to the menu, go down to desserts and we can change the sugar in every recipe if we need to, this is still a five star, so we don't need to do that yet. Um, but if if there's any dessert that's not like this one here, Charles Choco Loco, right? It's just not five. We can come in here and say, hey, sugar, what's up? And we bump it up, done. And how much did that actually change the price? 224 is the cost. We come down to one, it's, yeah. So it, it changed the price by like nothing, like less than 10 cents, so I don't care. Like whatever, eat, in, eat, in, eat into my margins, fine. Do it, I don't care. 10 cents, guys. 10 cents. Our prices, I think, are pretty reasonable. For the ratings we have, I think they're pretty reasonable. This garlic bread. This garlic bread is still on the menu. Let's do a little bit better black pepper. And, you know, you know, I'm thinking we add a little bit of sage to the garlic bread. Huh? What do you think? Huh? Just a little bit? Bump that up a little bit in uh, ratings. What do you think? Huh? A little uh, vanilla? No. Wait, basil? I don't think so. Not in bread. Yeah? It says green. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. I, it was lighting it up green, right? But I don't. I'm just going to go with no on that. Um, what else did I say? What about egg? I feel like egg. Like you would. Like really light, right? Don't you don't well no, that's like that's like French toast. I'm thinking French toast, right? Where people use that. That's not that's that's not garlic bread. Olive oil. What about just using butter instead of the olive oil? Didn't we we already researched that, didn't we? Didn't we try that out already? 
know what? 105 is fine. 105 is totally fine. So it's like it's not five stars, but whatever. It's garlic bread appetizer. Like, what do you want? Like, you want like a. Oh my god, it's so good. This garlic bread is so good. No, I'm gonna bring the prices down. Actually, we're pretty profitable, and I don't want people thinking that we're super stupid greedy. So I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit, help our ratings just a tad. Some of the more popular things, like the steak, we're making a lot of money on the steak sales anyway, right? And again, we're making a ton of money. So um, what I think I want to do now is invest in some more outreach. And uh, I'm thinking for the outreach. Oh, you know what? Here, customer removal. Okay, so um, we want to get rid of the cheapskates, right? So if we're getting rid of cheapskates... I think the relaxing experience is probably a good one. Because then with the blue the blue collar workers and white collar workers are not likely to visit us. Right? Or they're less likely to visit us. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Cause it's gonna bring the probability of them showing up down. So our places like people can come in from more places. But um the like customer attraction, right? Here's the problem is I don't wanna attract any of the cheapskates. I want a a policy. I want a policy that removes the cheapskates, and there isn't one, right? Billboards, maybe the billboards will. Oh, these are the same thing. Uh, yeah, we definitely don't want that. Wow, why would we want cheap prices? Why would we ever want to do that? Like, let's just like bring on the cheapskates. I think relaxing experience, we do it on both sides. Wow, that's expensive. Wait, how am I up to that much already? What's my daily cost for? What am I spending it on? Is it social media? This is $12 an hour. Hmm. Custom removal, relaxing experience. So we just like did a big debuff. Yeah, so the white collar and blue collar workers are not coming to us anymore. They're just, they're just not gonna show up anymore. We gotta get rid of the cheapskates. We gotta get rid of these guys. How do I get rid of you? Actually, do we really need to do all of these things? No, we're already unlikely. Even with the... It's it's the flyers, right? Yeah, just with the flyers alone, we're unlikely to see a whole lot of blue-collar workers. Maybe it, it's not until we get to down here where, where we can start. Maybe uh, customer attraction. I want high-budget families, I think. Food enthusiasts and high-budget families are basically the same attraction like rain, ranking anyway let's try getting high budget families in here what does that do for me it's uh is it a 12 percent? it's right now it's a 12 percent chance this will add plus five percent right yeah, that's exactly what it does so food enthusiasts is already 35 we really need to bump this up because upper class families coming in here is kind of what i've been you know preparing my restaurant for this entire time is to get the higher higher income families into the restaurant bigger spenders so tomorrow we have overproduction seafood our fish is going to be even cheaper to 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 grab it's going to cost us less awesome then right after that easter more families coming to the place so we have two pretty busy days uh we have, sorry one busy day and then one cheaper day which is great because we're we're bumping up the, the profits here. So I think because we are making pretty good profits, actually, why don't we actually take about take out outreach? More outreach is great. I'm going to do this. 1,500? The extra... Ooh, yeah, it's 500 points each. We can grow a lot faster if I do this. We can go high spending outreach. But do we want to do it with billboards or social media? We can do it with all sorts of things, actually. Looks like social media is the most effective. It gives us two points. So it's $500 per point. Flyer is kind of the same thing. Okay, so it's pretty much just $500 a point. Okay, fair enough. We'll go social media, moderate spending. So notice our, our costs, right? We have really high costs now in this stuff, but the hope is that we grow. We need to grow more. We need to put out advertising because if it's not a super busy day, like today, right? It's a normal standard day. We're not filling our tables. We're not filling the restaurant on a super busy day. I want to be filling the restaurant on a super busy day. So let's get on that. And then I want to see if Josefa here... 
I wish I could see how many points he has at a glance. Like, I want to see this number, but I want to see it over here. Because I don't know when he's going to level up so I can get him this. But he is, like, not all that great at anything other than maybe, like, greeting people at the door. Which is what he's doing right now. He's pretty much focused on that until he recovers. So, fair enough. And our chefs are doing okay. Energy-wise, I'm not being overworked yet. If I start paying my staff, I could, I mean, I could pay them, pay them more, but let's not give away all of our profits right away, right? I mean, because we are making a pretty good sum of money. I know a lot of you guys probably have restaurants that make way more money than I do. I'm not going to enter a pissing contest with you. <laughs> we can get better quality salt. We actually, oh, we only have one point. Never mind. Uh, I was going to say we can use the salt. Uh, we use salt in like almost everything. So, uh, you know, what? let's grab coffee. Why not? You know, people will people like it, right? Can we use the coffee in anything? Not the garlic bread, but can we use it in anything else? Like um, Choco Loco? Maybe Choco Loco could use... It's already 115. Like, yeah, whatever. We could make like a coffee cake, you know? What do they call that? There's a special name for that, isn't there? I think my, my wife really likes it too. It's like, uh, like tiramisu. Isn't that what it is? Advertisement policy unlocked. You're now popular enough to spend money on one of the oldest media <laughs> newspapers. There's still people reading them, right? Uh, well, newspapers. So can we get yeah high budget families with this, right? Oh, we can get these guys in here too. Now that seems like it's worth my money. They are very expensive to attract, but I want them in here. Thirty percent chance for them to show up now. Very cool. And again, we're getting more we're getting more influence points because of our outreach as well. So despite spending all this money, look at this. We're we're actually still growing. Our money is climbing. All right. So despite all you people out there, like it's two. I if you're new here, I'm not salty about comments. I make fun of my commenters sometimes because they make fun of me. And I think it's only right that if you can dish it to me, I can dish it back to you. So for the naysayers out there, look at my successful business, okay? Uh, what's this strange smell coming from the toilets? How can we eat like this? Yeah, you know, I don't know who you are, but if you're, I don't want, if you're a really high paying customer, I don't want you to leave. So whatever, $100. You better not be a cheapskate. Lower class family. Okay, well, I mean, that's fine. It's only a group of two. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have spent the $100 on them, but whatever. If they come back and they tell their friends and all that stuff, then I'll want that. All right, I have four points now. Very nice. Now, what are these? Extra pay. I want perfection. Like these here, I don't know how uh, active skills once unlocked can be added to the main UI and used in real time. Okay, interesting. It's welcoming time. After acquiring the skill, you can, you can access the respective active skill that has the following effects once activated. The skill is active your waiters will welcome and seat people at a tremendous speed but be careful they can get really tired okay extra money extra willpower by spending a thousand dollars you can further push your staff without the risk of a revolt okay i want perfection eight hundred dollars to incite your staff with some extra money and increase the quality of their offer of your offer extra pay uh, you can push them to do better with extra money. Okay, military strategies. By adopting military strategies and discipline, the kitchen can quickly prepare and cook most orders, but not without a lot of sweating. <laughs> Futuristic brain implants. The brain implants increase a waiter's math cap capabilities and spatial awareness, allowing them to quickly check out tables and clean them. Too bad they give tiresome headaches. So there's a trade off on all of these things. Up here is good too. Um, make a good impression. Your place is ugly, no problem. Tell all your waiters to increase their efforts to be friendly and nice. Um, this skill gives you a two star increase to your service rating, but your waiters will consume more energy to do their job. Okay. Quick customers removal protocol. <laughs> when activated, this skill reduces the time needed to check out customers and clean tables. Oh, that's what it is. I'm sitting here thinking, we can get rid of the cheapskates? Can we see who they are at the door and kick them out? I'm sorry, you're too cheap to, to eat here. Goodbye. 
I remember everything. Oh, cool. Uh, thanks to some real training, your waiters can now enter in a superhuman state and quickly take orders from tables and then deliver them. Sadly, it's really tiresome to use those ancient techniques. When activated, this skill reduces the time needed to take orders and deliver them, but those actions will have an increased energy consumption. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure I really need any of these things right now. To be honest, there might be times where like we have a ton of people waiting outside the door and we're not seating them in time. So perhaps we can take this. The thing is though, I can't I can't actually click these. I don't know how to unlock them. It's like even though I have four points, I can't do it. I wonder if it just takes a lot more points. Maybe maybe they're five points a piece or something. If that was the case, it should at least tell me that, right? Because it doesn't actually the, the mouse over doesn't tell me how many points these are. Oh well. So with four points, uh I'm gonna go with desserts. Like we really want really good desserts, right? So let's do that. Ooh, next stage, very good. More energy for me. Very good, more energy for me. Uh, okay, good stuff, awesome stuff. We'll just save all the rest of the points. And that is the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen. We have $7,300 in the bank. One influence point. And let's see, now 7,300 is what we have now, but how much is the end of day expenses hitting us? 7490. All right, so the end of day expenses hit us for really, really high amounts, actually. Uh, but we're gonna start today with 3700. So like, we're still starting with a lot. Uh, I'm wondering how to get Josefa's morale up faster. I don't, I, other than paying them more, I don't know. But a lot of these guys are super elated. You know, I guess some of them are, are kind of down too. If I would just pay everybody more, Overproduction, seafood, very nice. So seafood is 15% cheaper today. I need to make a new seafood dish, don't I? Yes, I do. And I think I wanna make a seafood appetizer if I can, possibly a seafood soup and a seafood side dish. I want health. I want wealthy people to come in here and go, hmm, I like fish. Well, we have some fish that can go before your fish. We also have a salad that contains fish. And if you're interested, uh, we also have a fish soup and uh, you know, a side dish that's also fish if you want that to go with it. By the way, have you seen our delicious assortment of wines? <laughs> I want that. And we're gonna do that. We have three influence points, which means we can now go to the city map and do this. Yes, we can. Very good. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like the videos, you can give them a big old thumbs up. Thank you very much. You can subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I am going to see you in the next video. I know this is maybe a tiny bit shorter video than usual, but um, I, I think this is a good place to stop. And uh, we have a big day ahead of us with the seafood stuff. We're going to make a whole bunch of seafood recipes. I think we'll make at least three recipes tomorrow. And uh, we'll have uh, you know, seafood and fish and maybe oh, a lobster dish. We'll do a lobster dish too. Thank you very much. Take it easy. We'll see you. Bye-bye.